G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and this isn't just one of the easiest and most fastest things I've ever put together. It's also one of the most useful. So let's just quickly get into it. As we all know, storage is important because you can't use everything you've got all at once or at the same time it'd be pretty impossible. So for those times when we're not using it, we like to store it away. Or for those materials that we haven't used yet or that we might use one day, especially if you're a little bit of a hoarder like I am, especially on a homestead, mind you, and you all know what I'm talking about. And if you're reusing or upcycling things, you tend to hoard a little bit. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that as long as you don't go crazy, but I am digressing. What I'm saying is storage is important but where you store is just as important. And what I've found out over the years is that if I'm not storing something in the right spot, it can be hard to access and a real pain. And sometimes you just can't be bothered and those tasks get back on the back burner. And other times you're storing things that are in the way that drive you crazy because you're trying to get around things. And wire was one of those storage problems that I had in our main shed, but I fixed all that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw you to a much younger me with a worse haircut, and he's gonna to explain to you how I did it. Today, I'm setting up, well, I've got this idea of an outdoor storage area. I've just done a big clean out of our shed, and I mean, it was a big clean out. But then, I just couldn't get rid of a lot of scrap wire that I have around because that always comes in handy. Whether it be just sort of a makeshift trellis for tomatoes or oh, I just need that one piece to patch up a fence or a chicken enclosure, you know what I mean. So I, I'm really loath to get rid of good galvanized wire. But it was taking up a heck of a lot of space in the shed. And because it's galvanized, it really could have been stored outside. So rather than just dump it out the back here and try to pile it up and it's gonna roll away, I thought I might just set up an outdoor type crate. Now you can get these crates online or you can buy them from shops and warehouses, but they can be very expensive, up to 1,500 to 2,000 or more I've seen. So I thought, I could get one of them, but nah, don't want to. And I, and I didn't want anything that was too big either. I wanted more long and thin rather than sort of the sizes that I was seeing. There were a couple that were close, but they were around the 1,500 to 2,000 Australian dollars. So I thought, well, where do I go? What do I do? And then I had the idea of maybe just making my own, getting some galvanized welded panels, putting them together myself and just making an enclosure so I can just dump all this wire in. These aluminium panels here, they're around 90 to 100 bucks each Australian. Although they're a bit more expensive, they're lightweight, they're strong, and they don't rust. So it makes all around something that I can manage and I can enjoy for years to come, storing that wire in somewhere else that it's not going to look so untidy but also not going to take up so much space where I could use it for other things under cover in the shed. I want it out the way so I don't want to take up too much of this space. I want to be able to have a work flow through here so along this wall is pretty good. So these are the side panels. I'm not even gonna cut them to size. They're gonna be a little bit taller. They're gonna go on the ends like this. That way, not that way. In years to come, if I decide oh, I've used up all the wire and I don't need this anymore, I'll be using it in the garden. probably another one there and there. Right now I'll just stick the other side on. You can see it's not that hard, is it? I 
Crikey, it's hot out here. So that's it, spot zip tied together. That's the first one done. You can see even just with that spot zip tie, it's uh, nice. I'm going to cut these off, of course. And then I'm going to put another two zip ties on each corner. And that's it. Took me literally three minutes to do. I mean, if you wanted, you could wire this together or use some other fixing. But I think these uh, ultraviolet, you know, what do they call them? Ultraviolet. Come on, give me it. Um, uh, ultraviolet treated zip ties. They last for a long time. And if they start to wither, I'll just put some more on. I didn't mean to say more on. Put it there. Oh. Well, there we go. That's the first one done. No worries. I'll now go and do the second one. What do you mean I should be wearing wire gloves? You know I hate gloves. Looks like I'm going to have plenty of spare room. That's a big tomato cage, that one. Lovely. Good spot for steaks. Yeah, well there you go, not bad from a long head lout. It's me, I'm back, marking the present with a more clean cut hairstyle. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and share the video around because that helps my content and channel out heaps. Also subscribe if you haven't already and can I just indulge a little bit longer and hold on, don't drop off because I want to talk about my website. If you haven't been there for a while, go to selfsufficientme.com and have a look at it. It's evolving all the time and I've got more to come. And don't forget, and a lot of people don't know this, but I have a second website forum called Self Sufficient Culture. Now to be fair, I'm not always on there. I'm trying to get myself into a position where I've got more time to get onto that forum, but I am, I am the founder of it and it's not just about me though and that's one thing that i wanted to try to get across and get more people onto this forum website that's founded by me but you've got a lot of great people on there that pardon this wind this has been hard filming over this last fortnight i can tell you Anyway, I think that's good enough now. Anyway, we're building up a really good community, an online gardening self-sufficiency community. It's about self-sufficient culture. It's different to other gardening sites. Get on there, join up, and say good day to me. I'll be on there whenever I can, and just get part of that community. I'm gonna grow that a little bit more. I've been promising for a while now to add some extra features. We have got the site improved over this last six months considerably and I'm going to improve it a lot more too. We've got competitions coming in the pipeline, we've got 
a photo comp, we've got a general competition. I'm going to put those things on there and get that established so we can have a lot more fun as well as sharing all that information and photos and images of your gardens. That's the vision that I've had for a long time. So thanks a lot for listening right to the end. Go to those sites, check them out. Uh, before I get blown away, thanks for watching. Bye for now.